Hey guys, welcome to Quick Tips. Thank you for checking us out. In today's video, we're going to be looking at reversing a transition to create a whole new transition. And uh, you'll see what I mean in a second. First, uh, let's, so I'm in slice transitions. Let's just put number four on these two clips here. And it's going to ask me to create extra frames. So I'll just click on that. And as you can see, what this transition is doing just by putting it onto the two clips is cutting or rather slicing the first one on top and bringing in the one underneath from left to right. So what we're going to do is delete that clip and I'm going to hit Command R on both of these clips just to bring up the speed settings, then go custom and hit reverse and the same on the second clip, go custom and then hit reverse. What I want to do then is also just to move the second one behind the first one because we're going to reverse this whole thing. And then what I want to do is find number four and put number four on there. Then select everything, right click and uh, create a new compound clip. And then I'm just going to say reverse clip. And the last thing to do is again, just go command R. So now we're reversing it back to uh, the front. So we're double reversing it in order to get the transition to be the only thing that actually reverses. So again, custom here and hit reverse. And so now when we play that back, we should get the opposite effect. Pretty cool. All right, guys, hope you enjoy reversing your own transitions. If you like transitions like the one we use in this tutorial, check out our product Slice Transitions. It includes 62 neat transitions and 30 sound effects for your use in Final Cut Pro. Alright guys, make sure to subscribe for more tutorials like this and I'll catch you in the next one.